my kids go on social media. I have an eight-year-old and a soon-to-be 10-year-old. And when I think about what I hand them, I mean, I, I have a little watch. I can, mm -hmm. I can contact them. That's I can fine. reach them. But the idea of handing over to my kids a machine that tells them, compare yourself to everyone else. I mean, I'm not somebody who even likes to go on social media because it's kind of like walking out your front door and saying, hey, anyone think I'm cute today? Like, who, anyone want to <laughs> criticize me? Come on, I'm, I'm here for you. Just go ahead, start. Um, and so for my kids, when they're trying to think about and figure themselves out, I mean, I cannot imagine going through puberty, going through insecurities, going through life, and not just having whatever bullying, whatever insecurities, just in your own little circle, but it's there forever. And it feels like everyone's seeing it. And it goes from point A to point Z in a matter of seconds. I mean, you have people feeling insecure into their, into their adulthood. Now, I mean, you should see, we're talking about on air, you know, someone will make a comment as a pundit, and the commercial break, they go, anyone like it? Did anyone like it? Anyone like it? What do they say? What are they saying? Are Congress these, people yeah, doing that too? Exactly. And this, these are people who are grown ups, who have lived a life before social media. Imagine those who have never. Like, when you see kids now, and you wonder the two year olds who have seen people in masks for most of their lives at this point. How does that shape their view of now seeing a mouth one day? Yeah. Imagine now seeing a real mirror, not a filter. It's always like a fun house. And I just, I try to stay away from it from my kids. But don't yeah. your kids complain to you that the other kids have this yeah. and we don't? I mean, yeah. isn't it hard as a parent to do that when all the other kids have it? For me, no. You wanna know why? You wanna know why I tell my kids, I'm like, look, you can, you can add it to the bill for your therapy in 20 years. Right. Mommy did so much. You had a bed. You had a house. Oh, poor you. Wait, you can I give you an air fist bump on that one? Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. But, yeah. but Laura, <laughs> yes. I just want to point that out. <laughs> so your kids are what, eight and nine? Eight and say? nine, yeah. Okay. So they're still in ele elementary school. Yeah. When they go to middle school, my kids go to New York City public schools. They, as soon as they hit sixth grade, they say, Dad, everybody is on Instagram. Can I have an Instagram account? We're all faced with this trap. No parent wants their kids on Instagram. Right. Um, but we're all faced with this trap because the other kids are on. It's the, it's the, it's the we don't want our kids to be excluded because that is where things are happening. So this is what's called in social science is a collective action problem. Each one of us might even be even worse off if we take our kid off and everyone else is on, but we'd all be better off if everything was off. So what we need to do as a starting move, and this is something we can all do, get the phones and social media the hell out of middle school. Let's just protect middle school. <laughs> Okay, and so, yeah, so if, you're, if, you're, if you're watching this, if you're watching this at home, talk to the principal of your parents' middle school and say, can you help us? Because believe me, I've spoken at middle schools, they hate this too. Mm. So, so if, as a starting move, just have, have the norm be uh, no phones in school. You, when you come to school, put them in a phone locker or a, or a yonder pouch. The kids must not have access to their phones in school. Usually the policy is, well, you know, we don't let them take them out. Like, yeah, you know, tell heroin addicts, you can just, just leave in your pocket. Don't shoot up. Just leave in your pocket all day. <laughs>